I believe that Sean King is a bad person. I think he's a liar. I think he's self-interested. I, I, I think he's a dishonest person, and, and he, he only does what he does to benefit himself, and thus he fans the flames of racial tensions. He makes things worse. There was a report that I cite all the time called uh, Hidden Tribes by a group called More in Common. They used YouGov data and found that most people in this country believe Black Lives Matter is making racial tensions worse. Okay? I'm not trying to disparage Black Lives Matter. I'm specifically trying to be critical of Sean King. Not that long ago, a, young, a seven-year-old girl was tragically killed by some gang members, it looks like. Sean King pushed out this narrative that it was a 40-year-old white man with a beard who did this. Police said there was a suspect who matched that description. Sean King then put out a sketch. He started tweeting it saying, this is the man who, you know, this is who we're looking for. This is his name. He's a racist. This guy didn't do it. Sean King targeted somebody who wasn't involved, who was fleeing the scene for their life, and then targeted, total, targeted a totally unrelated man. And I can only wonder why. So here's, here's the first story. Larry Woodruff is second man charged in death of seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes. Larry D. Woodruff, 24, could face the death penalty, okay? So this is, this is the, the, the important update here. Two people have been arrested, okay? Eric Black Jr. and now Larry D. Woodruff. They are both, uh, they say investigators later identified Woodruff and Eric Black Jr. 20 as suspects based on a trip to social, uh, a tip to social activist Sean King. The suspects were arrested at a traffic stop Saturday, and Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said Black told investigators he was the driver and Woodruff fired the shots. I'll say this. Sean King got a tip, and because he put this out, it helped lead to these men being captured. That's good. However, Sean King, Sean King always does this. False accusations causing people harm. It's good these people were caught, but we shouldn't sacrifice the innocent for the guilty. And if Sean King repeatedly pushes forward with these, these false accusations, these witch hunts, you're going to see innocent people harmed. And that has happened before. So this next story is uh, real quick, just mentioning Jasmine Barnes' uh, murderers allegedly have gang ties. It turns out these are two men who apparently believed that they were firing into the vehicle of a rival gang. Is that surprising to anybody? Now, I want to focus... So, so now I have the tweet from Sean King, and we get into the man who was falsely accused. Sean King tweeted, Are these the same trucks? On the left is a man stealing a motorcycle days before Jasmine was murdered. On the right is the truck from her murderer. What more can you tell me about Robert Cantrell? He was arrested in Houston hours after Jasmine was murdered on another violent crime spree. We've had 20 people call us, uh, call or email us saying he's racist, violent a-hole, and has always been. Just tell me everything you know. So apparently, this guy had nothing to do with it. Apparently this guy is a criminal, don't get me wrong, and he was doing some, he was doing, like, he was in a, a crime spree. But this is an example of Sean King falsely accusing somebody. And here we go, the main story Family of man wrongly accused by activist John King and Jasmine Barnes shooting speaks out. I'm not going to give this guy too much sympathy because apparently he's a really bad guy. He's a criminal who's committing some acts of violence. But they say, the family of a man whose photo went viral on social media as a possible suspect in the murder of seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes is telling everyone to back off. Haley Cantrell says despite the arrests of two suspects in the murder case, as recent as Monday, there have been threatening comments on her Facebook page regarding her uncle Robert Cantrell. I hear... Someone is going to rape, torture, and murder the women and children in your family, Haley read from one comment. Photos of her uncle were widely circulated starting last Friday. In a now-deleted Twitter post, activist Sean King, who has one million followers, posted Cantrell's mugshot and wrote, We've had 20 people call. I, I read that already, so. As a white man with blue eyes, he resembles the sketch the Harris County Sheriff's Office released last week. Even his niece was afraid it was him. I'm not going to lie, I teared up, said Cantrell. The sheriff's office now believe the sketch is of a witness that Jasmine's sisters remembered and has said all evidence shows the little girl and her family were innocent victims. They mentioned Eric Black uh, and Larry Woodruff were the ones charged. Both are African-American. I just want everyone to back off. The truth is out. It had nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with my uncle at all, said Haley. King did not respond uh, Monday to repeated requests for comment. Why? Because Sean King does this all the time. And, and there's a, uh, this is an op-ed story from cityjournal.org where they, they, they basically go into great detail. I'll, I'll read a little bit in a second, but I want to talk about this. Uh, I, I did a video about it before, about Sean King being wrong. Now we have the actual victim here to Sean King's going on Twitter, riling people up, and to make matters worse, 
This guy has come out, and again, he's, he's seemingly a criminal, so I'm not going to give him any sympathy. I'm not going to give him too much sympathy, right? I'm upset with, with the targeting of innocent victims here. At the same time, that guy's apparently a criminal, so he's, you know, he still should not be facing the threats. His family should not be facing the threats that they're facing. People on the left like to talk about how misogynist right-wing trolls and Russians or whatever uh, harass women and do all this really bad stuff. Sure, okay. There are bad people on the right. There are bad people on the left. How many people, and I mean this for real, like pull up some uh, right-wing sources who are as big as Sean King who do the exact same thing. They should be criticized too. But Sean King always does this three times now, okay? The first, he claimed that Proud Boy, okay, actually the first one's not as bad as these two, but he claimed the Proud Boys showed up to a bar, or I'm sorry, showed up to a vigil and engaged in, like, trying to disrupt an event. He called them the new KKK. It is one of the most annoying and infuriating things I've ever seen. Because I, Sean King is truly, like, he, he's my definition of evil. I would, I would really say that. Because what happens after this? Did he apologize? No. Did he say he was wrong? No. Did he do anything to try and stop the threats coming at this man's family? No. When he claimed the Proud Boys showed to a vigil and, and, and he lied, did he apologize afterwards? No, the tweet's actually still live. Because Sean King is a bad person. He doesn't care about what's actually going on. He is a liar. He's a grifter. That's what, the, that's what they like to use. They like to accuse people of being grifters. Well, Sean King is definitely part of that grifter class. You don't see me leading activist outrage mobs at anybody. You don't. You have me calling them out. You, like, and, and it's no wonder, and I bring this up all the time, it's funny, how they do these hit pieces, these smears, and you don't see me in them. You know why? Because I don't do this kind of stuff that Sean King does. This man was falsely accused. They, they, he posts a photo of him. People are threatening his family. What does Sean King do? <coughs> Deletes the tweet. So this is uh, something I pulled up from the other day called opportunistic outrage. That defines Sean King. Anger about comparatively rare white on black hate lets advocates ignore a far more pervasive reality. Anti-cop activist Sean King says that his involvement in the campaign around Jasmine Barnes' murder was not driven by reports that a white man had killed a seven-year-old girl who was gunned down in Houston on December 30th. According to Barnes' mother and 15-year-old sister, the white driver of a pickup truck had pulled up next to the family's car before opening fire. The accusation set up a frenzy of hate crime allegations and blanket coverage by the New York Times. King offered a $100,000 reward to anyone who located the suspect. As it turns out, she was killed by two black men who opened fire on her mother's car because they thought they were targeting enemies of their gang. King passed along a tip about the real killers to the Houston police and now says that he merely internalized the pain of the family and tried to search as if it were my own child who was killed. Race, in other words, had nothing to do with his activism. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> it clearly didn't. Because you don't see Sean King ever tweeting about gang violence in Chicago. I actually went to Chicago and interviewed an, interviewed an activist. It's interestingly, this person I interviewed from Chicago was in favor of legal gun rights. They, they, they wanted gun control. But the issue was illegal guns. They said, how do we deal with illegal guns? That's the problem. Where is Sean King standing up for those activists? He isn't. Sean King grabs onto this story, pushes it out, falsely accuses somebody. What happens afterwards? Chucks along like nothing happened. You go through Sean King's Twitter feed and he's not talking about anything. Like he's talking about politics on Trump and Pelosi back into the, the good old pol political culture war. And when it comes to these issues that he himself has pushed, where's the apology? Where's the, where's the uh, addressing the issue? Then you look at the Young Turks. Cenk Uger called this like white terrorism or something. Something like that. Deletes the videos. Where's, the, where's addressing the issue? They just walk away like nothing happened. This is evil in my opinion. It really is. Look, I get it. I get that there are partisan actors who highlight certain issues. You come to my channels, you're going to watch videos about what I care about. What happened after New York when at first it looked like Antifa started the fight with the Proud Boys? I made a video about it. Criticized Antifa and criticized the activists. Then when new footage came out showing it was the Proud Boys who rushed up to Antifa, what did I do? I made a video about it. I made a video about it saying it looks like I was wrong. I made a tweet saying it looks like I was wrong. Why? Because I have no problem being wrong. That's how you make yourself better. But what do these people do? They're protecting the brand. That's what they're doing. So all of a sudden, when, these, when, when, when they cause the problems, when they target innocent people to, in, in this circumstance, with lies and smears, and get the hate mob on their side targeting them, what do they do? They say nothing. Delete. Better hide the evidence. Brush under the rug, because nothing really matters. So I'm just going to read the, uh, the, the end of this piece here.
They say, if Sean King and other Black Lives Matter activists really want to save black children from the trauma of urban violence, they should put their efforts into rebuilding inner, uh, inner city culture. Above all, by revalorizing a married father as the best gift a mother can give her child. Fantasies about white violence against black bodies are a distraction from what is actually happening on American streets. I don't, I don't know what City Journal is. I've cited them before. Um, you know, look, my, my, I'm not uh, entirely opposed to social justice activism. Uh, I support a lot of it. But I think people like Sean King have taken over uh, certain areas of this, and they're just generally bad people. They're, they, they manipulate, they lie, cheat, and steal. They've latched on to good activism to push their personal brand and make money for themselves. That's why I'm not an activist. You know, I got a lot of people accusing me, say, Tim's a grifter. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't see me go on the street. You don't see me targeting businesses and telling people to, you know, get them de defunded or anything. Not, I just basically talk about stuff on the internet. But so long as there's an opportunity for people like Sean King, it'll keep happening. So anyway, stick around. More videos coming up in just a few minutes.